Man, I love when you watch something for 60 minutes and only two things mattered. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for the first two episodes of WandaVision. Now, admittedly, I was a bit indifferent when they announced this series, because admittedly, I am very skeptical about what the story could be, considering Vision is dead. Obviously, Wanda's probably going to be in some sort of time loop or something, but apparently, this is going to tie into the whole Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which, if I'm correct, is still being filmed. They went through a bunch of creative differences and whatnot. So to see how these two are going to interconnect, will be interesting but by god i really hope that they pick it up a bit now it is kind of cool to see them do a new age version of 50 sitcom television apparently dick van dyke was a consultant on the show never heard of the mcu you know what it's dick van dyke i'm amazed the guy's alive like good for him for staying in good health seeing as he's been around for forever but admittedly the show is very slow to start if anything it's very much reminding me of season two of true detective which i know no one really likes to talk about about anymore that show started off very slowly it didn't really get going until a couple of episodes in and this is the same for wandavision because aside from the backing out at the very end of the first episode showing the person at the computer console and then the second episode with the weird radio transmission and the beekeeper guy coming out of the sewer nothing matters aside from maybe one to two minutes of footage, you could skip pretty much the other 58 minutes of these two episodes. I was quite befuddled at how little is actually forwarding the main narrative. I was constantly looking around the characters, around their environments. There's got to be something that means something in here. In the first episode when Vision's boss is choking to death, and then the camera goes from the wide conventional sitcom to very close cinematic, Wanda tells him to save him, he reaches down, picks the thing out of his throat, and then the characters go back to as though nothing happened. Now, that's how you set up a line. And it feels like they're starting to set up something. They're starting to set up the carrot, but then they don't drop it. They don't even lower it a little bit. They're like, hey, oh, well now we're going to pull it away again. We're going to we're gonna tease you a little more. And I'm like, okay. And then in the second episode, when we see the radio start to speak to Wanda, cracks the glass, we see color, red blood in the hand. Color is a ob abject thing in this universe apparently and then the woman just walks it off as though it's nothing and once again they are kind of dropping the carrot for maybe a millisecond before pulling it away again i would almost say that there's a lot of room for potential in this but i'm still waiting for something in terms of potential to happen i'm curious of what the hell this world is i said after watching endgame that i almost had no want to watch any of the other mcu movies because i felt that they wouldn't have much purpose after the cataclysm that was endgame i watched far from home because it was the canonical end of phase three i'm interested in the multiverse of madness because i like that idea but this isn't clicking with me yet it's still not hooking me in and i'm waiting for the next episode to hopefully do that and now after watching the first two episodes i can definitely say that if i didn't watch any of the rest of it i wouldn't care so in the end uh, i don't know i would give the first episode a three out of seven and i give the second one maybe a four out of seven it's a very generous four but i did like the camera techniques i like the humor in it but really the thing that kept me the most interested in both of these episodes was just the use of special effects both hearkening back to the way they did them back in the old days as well as incorporating techniques of how they do it now there were some tricks that were done that were really cool particularly with wanda making the food i thought that was kind of fun but other than that that's it. Otherwise, guys, tell me what you guys think about it. Were you interested? Are you hooked? D did I miss something? Tell me in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.